All right, let's get to those mountains and our waterfall. I got nothing else going on here. Now we haven't been to the water, the mountains, not the waterfall. We have never been to the waterfall. We've been to the mountains since uh, we saved Bow Wow. Oh, that seems like a long time ago. Because it was. It was like what? Second? Third? The third episode. And then let's go there. And we'll go this way. Are those zombies? I think those are zombies. The cemetery is to the right of us, so... I guess that makes sense. First, we're gonna go in here. Hey there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret to say that'll pump you up. Okay. That's all you're gonna tell me? How about... 42 rupees for my little secret. I'm slightly concerned because of the way you're talking to me. Alright, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all heart. Drop by again, big guy. You know, an automatic revival potion is not, uh, not the worst thing you could have given me. I am okay with this. I am, in fact, quite fine with this. Probably one of the better things you could have given me. You. Tamarack Mountain, Olga Swamp. At least we know we've hit the mountains. But we need to find the waterfall first. So... Okay, there's water. Ha! Dodged your arrow. Okay. Waterfall, waterfall. There's a cave. It even sounds like a waterfall. With a keyhole. I want to know what mechanism actually did that. Because that's actually quite impressive. We have to... I almost said leap from the top. So... To the mountains. The proper mountains. Or stairs, I guess? I do like this music. Very much. Well, that doesn't give us much to go on. I'm sorry. I really like that music. We can enjoy the music later, because I'm sure this is not going to be the last time we're going to be in these mountains. Oh, can, can I have that, please? Oh, I'll take this, though. 50 rupees. Very nice. Charge through this stuff. Oh, hey, it's that dude from from maybe. Well, he did tell us he was gonna get lost in the mountains. Did he plan that or what? Maybe he just knows his ability to get lost. Makes you wonder why he wandered farther from home. Hey. 
why he wandered this far away from home in the first place. Yep, Papa got lost, just like he said. Now I'm so famished I can't move! Can you give me some vittles? You really just use the term vittles? I don't think people these days even know what the term vittles means. He basically wants food, for those of you who don't know what vittles means. This pineapple's so delicious, I'm gonna eat the pineapple right now! Bon appetit! Ah! This isn't meant to be a reward. Here, take this flower. It's a hibiscus. Alright. I now have a hibiscus. Delicious! Yum! I'm filled with energy now! I'm certainly eating like you are. Wow. Guy's fast. Okay, well that was that. Now we have some hibiscus, and I believe there's a certain goat that wanted such a thing. Can't go that way. So I guess we can only assume that... Actually, we don't have to assume. Angler's Tunnel, level 4. It's right down here! How did they not break a leg? Because gaming physics. Angler's Tunnel. Well, it's right behind a waterfall. It makes sense that this whole place would be soaking wet. Take care of you guys. Mm, let's see what's over here first. Bombs? I could use some bombs. Water spider? Hmm. Okay. 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 Ah. All right, we got a stone beak. That can be useful. I think we're gonna need a couple keys too. There's something I've recently noticed. This is the first time that we've truly had personalized dungeons in terms of music. Because in, I mean, the original game, we had the overworld, the labyrinths, and then Ganon's um, Death Mountain. Yeah. And then um, you had the same deal when we had Adventure of Link. This looks slightly suspicious. Ow. Darn thing. And then when it came to Link to the Past, we had a Light World Dungeon, Dark World Dungeon, which kind of had some uniqueness to it. And I haven't seen Pea Hats in a while. There we go. Same deal, I guess. This rock has many cracks. There must be some way to shatter it. Why, yes. It's called blowing things up. Always fun to do. Perfect. But now we're actually getting different soundtracks for every dungeon. Which... I think it's pretty neat. I don't think we necessarily needed a further way to distinguish dungeons from one another, but it does kind of give a, a different atmosphere to the place. Okay. Well, we have... Oh, we have two keys. Where's the other key? Must have, oh, okay, no, I think I know what it was. Because I can keep track of this stuff. Okay. Ah, we got our compass. 
That was nice. We have all of our utility items right away. And for those of you who don't know about this dungeon, we might need them. I, I do not have fond memories of this dungeon. And that's only partially because I can't remember <laughs> that I can't swim yet. Oops. Yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, jump into things that hurt me. Because I'm smart. Okay. I'm more than happy to make things explode. Except the running room. in here. Ha! -ha! Fell down a hole that I can't even get to. Good thing we have these stairs. And water. Link, how can you not swim? Seriously, it's not even that deep. You could jump in, grab it, and float to the top. I mean, I guess you are technically weighted down with sword and things, but come on, that doesn't stop you in later games. Because game logic, it just sank into the water. Nice! The glint of the tile will be your guide. Okay. That's uh, good to know. Something tells me I'm going to get flippers here. Something also tells me that I need to stop walking into deep pools of water. Probably the little drowning noise I make every time I do. Hmm. Seriously, stop doing that. Oh, now we know where the nightmare is. Well, that reminds me. Wrong map. There we go. Well, okay, now there we go. If you look sideways, it kind of looks like a fish. So, English Tunnel is still a fitting thing. Um... Okay, that's that's not going to be very realistic. Okay, there we go. There's our key. Now we can go all the way back. That locked door. There we go. Now, you, you can chase it, like this, and you have a similar kind of boss in Ocarina of Time. Right now, it's kind of easy for me to do it because I have the piece of power. What I usually do is just wait for it to be exposed. And my gosh, it's so nice to have pieces of power going into boss battles. Pull that open. Go! Hmm. This looks like it's being guarded, and thus is valuable. Alright, here's our flippers. Now we can we can swim and dive. Nice. 
The glint of the tile. What are you guys? Ow. Okay, so you can only hit him from the back. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the pattern's probably the same no matter where. Ow, darn it. So if we go back here, assuming or not, this makes things easier. There we go. The thwomp looks very watchful. He looks way too happy to do that. Okay, now... Ha! Taking your greed to your my advantage. All right, here's our nightmare key. Now we need to figure out how to get to where the nightmare is. We need a key. And there was that one key that fifty rupees. Wow, thanks for all the money. Okay, so it was back here. Back through here. Okay. There you are. You know, despite not being Key Cavern, there was a great deal of key work I needed to do here. So, I'd just like to keep a running count because we've now had two water-ish themed dungeons. We had A Link to the Past where we got the hookshot and that worked with a whole bunch of floodgates which it wasn't too bad but it was still kind of annoying. Now we have this place which has a lot of back and forth with watery sinkholes so, that's where we stand right now. In terms of water dungeons. I have a... I have a running theory that... Water levels in general, at least in The Legend of Zelda, are never that much fun. And sometimes they're just stupid. Case in point. Alright, so we can swim and that enables us to face the boss. Here is the boss. I will now kill this thing. Insanely quickly. There, it's dead. You know, bosses, they need to take pride in the fact that they're bosses. They can't just sit there and be like, Ha, oh, I'm a big fish! Because we'll never see big fish bosses again, ever. I'm looking at you, Majora's Mask. It's a harp! Rainbow harp. The surf harp. 